Eric, your thoughts here. I mean, a year ago, would you have started a blockchain ETF? Well, actually, that's um, that's when we started working on on the blockchain ETF. So it's it's taken quite a while to get this, uh, you know, kind of through the process and and to develop something that's as robust that could could stand the the test of time. But but to the to James's point, this is a much bigger um, phenomenon here. This is this is a very big phenomenon. And think about it like a tiny balloon with a, an ocean of wealth that could potentially go into this balloon. So you could see, you know, pretty sizable gains. But there's a ton of risk here. I mean, there's even career risk in stating that you're investing in cryptocurrencies. There's there's it's an awful lot. Risk. <laughs> there's an awful lot of risk, and and it's either career risk, it's volatility risk. But because of that, you get paid for that, and you get compensated. And so there's a potential for significant rewards. And, and Kathleen, you've been following this from a legal perspective. Right. What are your opinions here? Well, um, I think it will take a, a fairly long time to have the. SEC permit a, an ETF of blockchain or other current cryptocurrencies for a host of reasons, including the volatility and including the liquidity and including uh, the fact that they could be easily manipulated because the market is so diffuse and not well regulated. So I think we're going to see a while before that happens. Well, and Eric, you tried to get the word blockchain in the name of your ETF. The SEC said no. Yeah, I think, and, and it's important for the viewers to understand that, that the, just so, some terminology, we throw a lot of jargon out there. So, so Bitcoin, in, in our view, is, is really the first killer app that was built on blockchain technology. There will be lots of other use cases for blockchain, which is the underlying technology and protocol of which you know Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and digital assets can trade. That, that is um, really where our ETF is focused, is on the blockchain technology, companies that are using blockchain in their business. But I think even at the SEC, there was confusion in thinking blockchain is Bitcoin, and, and therefore this ETF can't have blockchain in the name.